Infiniti's G37 convertible is a luxury convertible with power and panache. It's certainly quick, but with an emphasis on comfort rather than cornering. If you're looking for a car of this kind in the £40,000 bracket, you probably won't be considering it, but it's likely that you'd like one if you did. People who drive convertible cars tend to think a bit differently from the average motorist. They're as much interested in their car as an experience and a style statement as they are in uh, it providing a means for them to get to and from work. They're also likely to be unafraid of standing out from the crowd. In fact, they'd probably rather enjoy it. Now, Infinity is hoping that the adventurous spirit of UK drop top owners will extend to them considering a model from a brand that they may never have heard of. Uh, Infinity is Nissan's luxury arm and uh, the G37 convertible that we're looking at here is one of the models tasked with giving it a foothold in Europe. There are saloon and coupe versions of the G37 but it's the convertible that we're looking at here. Now Infinity are being modest about the sales targets they put out for all their cars, avoiding the kind of PR bluster about outstripping Lexus or challenging the established German brands that might come before a major fall. Instead, they're positioning themselves as a, a thinking person's alternative to mainstream premium models, an alternative that comes bundled up with sparkling customer service. Now this G37 convertible fits into all of this rather well. It's a, a distinctive and luxurious folding metal hardtop convertible that's aimed at the same kind of customers that Lexus is targeting with its much less powerful IS250C. Namely, those seeking a less obvious alternative to BMW's 3 Series convertible or perhaps to Cabriolet versions of the Mercedes E-Class or the Audi A5. This G37 has somewhat unlikely roots, being based on a stretched version of the chassis of Nissan 370Z sports car. Now that model also comes as a drop top, but makes do with almost 100 brake horsepower less than this Infiniti. Even so, it's clear from the first five minutes at the wheel of this G37 that it's no track day tearaway. It's a much larger car, with the emphasis more on comfort and refinement. Having said that, it's capable of returning some pretty respectable performance figures. 60 from rest is just 6.2 seconds away, en route to an artificially limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. On the move, thanks to uh, rear wheel drive and pleasantly direct steering, the driving experience is a lot more uh, involving than I was expecting. Although the ride may be a little firm for some buyers, this car hardly glides over potholes. On the plus side, uh, refinement is excellent. You've got that lovely yowl from the V6 petrol engine under a harsh acceleration. And buffeting is kept to a minimum, even if you forget to use the uh, standard wind deflector that has the disadvantage of covering over the rear seats. Compared to the Coupe G37 model, this convertible version has uh, a modified rear suspension to cope with the extra weight of the three-piece folding metal roof and also a wider track to enhance road holding. Now the standard gearbox is a six-speed manual but almost all buyers are likely to specify the seven-speed automatic that I'm using here. It's an ASC system that features uh, a sport mode for faster shifting and these lovely genuine magnesium paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. The tough task of integrating a folding metal hardtop into a sleek, well-proportioned body was one that uh, Infinity wisely delegated to experts Carmen, who build this car on a specially designated section of the G37's production line in Toikiji, Japan. Now, it may not be the most practical open-topped luxury four-seater you can buy, but it is one of the most attractive without the strangely distended rear end that tends to often afflict many metal folding roof cars of this type. Infinity call the roof dual beauty, and that's a reference to the fact that this car should look as good with the roof in place as it does with it down, and so it proves. Press the button just behind the gear lever here, and the opening or closing procedure can be performed in just 30 seconds. 
Now, when the roof is down and in the boot, there's a the usual downside that it takes up most of the 366 litres of space, leaving just 80 litres to play with. As the name suggests, this car is essentially based on the G37 Coupe, although that folding metal roof and the extensive structural reinforcement it requires means that the convertible G37 is very much its own car from the front A pillars backwards. Now you'd have a right to expect a very exclusive cabin in a £40,000 car. And by and large, this convertible doesn't disappoint, although there are some Nissan switches uh, scattered about. Now, in many examples, you'll find this interior dominated by a lovely swathe of what the designers call silk obi. It's a, a design uh, influenced apparently by Japanese silk, and it's across the dashboard and the center console here. Or, although the alternative, if you don't like that, is to go for the lovely rosewood trim that I've specified here. In the eight-way electrically adjustable driver's seat, it's easy to get comfortable because the instrument binnacle adjusts with the double hand stitched leather coloured steering wheel so you never lose sight of the dials. Once seated in the rear you'll find that there's just enough space for an adult to be comfortable provided they're not over six foot or the journey isn't too long. Behind you here there's a, a rear pop-up bar that springs up in milliseconds to protect you in the event of a rollover. And there's also the option of these lovely speakers fitted into the headrests for that real concert hall feel. Expect to pay somewhere around the £40,000 mark for your G37 convertible. And while that's undoubtedly a lot of money, it's also very good value. Plushest versions of Lexus's IS250C will cost you that, and they offer over 100 brake horsepower less. And you'll be paying getting on for that sort of money if you go for a BMW 330i convertible or an Audi A5 Cabriolet um, 3.2 FSI and spec it up with a few well-chosen options that would have been standard if you'd bought this Infiniti. And both of those cars offer 50 brake horsepower less. Infiniti doesn't believe in the kind of long as your arm options list that the German prestige brands tend to specialize in. Yes, you can go for a premium model that I've got here that gives you air-conditioned seats, sat-nav and an upgraded Bose stereo, but otherwise pretty much all the kit you could want is included as standard. So you get a full leather seats, a speed-sensitive power steering, cruise control, um, electric and heated adjustment for these seats, bi axonum cornering headlamps, uh, parking sensors with a rear-view parking camera, Bluetooth connectivity, a superb CD stereo uh, with six CD auto changer, and these lovely 18-inch alloy wheels. Nice touches include the iKey smart entry system, which senses this uh, ignition key if it's in your pocket or bag, so that all you have to do to get going is to pull the door handle and punch the ignition button. Other um, nice touches, well, there's the scratch shield paint, uh, which has an elastic resin built into the high gloss finish so that minor imperfections and scratches heal themselves when the paintwork is exposed to the sun. Equally important for potential Infinity owners will be the news that Infinity Centres offer a uh, free collection and delivery service so you only have to visit the dealership when you want to. There's even uh, a helpline to give you all kinds of information when you're out on the road. The big petrol V6 in this G37 convertible returns about 25 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle with accompanying CO2 emissions of 264 grams per kilometre. So fairly hefty running costs which could be a deterrent for some. Build quality surveys in the USA where Infinity has been on sale for over 20 years suggest that nothing is likely to go wrong. In the unfortunate event that it does, uh, something called a total ownership experience that uh, Infinity have created means that you'll be treated like royalty, regardless of the age of your car. Uh, that should help residual values, which experts predict will be at the bottom end of the kind of figures that you'd expect from Lexus. Infinity won't be a name at the top of the list for many premium Cabriolet buyers. But uh, for those willing to consider something a little bit out of the ordinary, well, they could find that this G37 convertible fits the bill. Its looks are as good as the value proposition it offers, and its chilled out dynamic demeanor means that it's a car that you could look forward to covering many miles in. 
This won't be Infiniti's biggest seller, but it could well be the best car they make.